So I see CrossFit athletes wear knee sleeves all the time. I had to go figure out which ones were the best knee sleeves because that's what I do or we do as reviewers. So I went and bought a bunch of them which include the Strong Sleeves by Mark Bell, the SBD 7mm knee sleeves, the, the Ray-Ban Original 7mm sleeves, the Ray-Ban RX 5mm carbon black sleeves, the Rogue 5mm knee sleeves, the Hook Grip Knee Sleeves 2.0, the Ray-Ban RX 3mm sleeves, the Rock Tape Assassin knee sleeves, the Two Pood Pineapple sleeves, the Bear Complex Tie-Dye sleeves, and last but not least, the Raylian Venta 5mm sleeves. So out of all these products, the best ones are this one, this one, and this one. Why are those three the best? Because they smell the least? No, because they don't bunch up. Seriously guys, there's so many knee sleeves that the studio smells like a giant gym bag for the last three months. My gym bag. <laughs> it's so disgusting. Why did you need knee sleeves? Aren't you all about bicep curls? How do knee sleeves give you more bicep curls? Are you claiming your guns are so big that you just have to use knee sleeves for them because normal elbow sleeves are too small? Yeah. <laughs> How do they fit your arms? <laughs> they just do, apparently. No, I got my first pair of knee sleeves years ago. The chiropractor said, your knee hurts, you need knee sleeves. And I'll be honest with you, my life, my knee life changed because like my knees felt so warm after. Like it just, it was just great. Hmm. You don't wear knee sleeves. I don't wear knee sleeves. I have never had a reason to wear knee sleeves. I don't think I lift enough to wear knee sleeves. But now that I did for this video, I kind of see why people wear knee sleeves. So over the last four months, I've been mixing and matching a myriad of knee sleeves in my workouts to figure out what I don't like about each product. So if you really do appreciate the hard work and like the real usage and the real review that we're doing here, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And get all your stuff through our Amazon links because nobody's paying us to work in a studio that smells like Aaron's knees. <laughs> it's so mm. gross. I'm sorry, Monty. Anyway, so in this video, we're gonna talk about the basic design of all these sleeves. We're gonna cover what knee, knee sleeves, knee sleeves, knee <laughs> sleeves actually do. Talk about the differences in terms of the thickness, do a pro con for each product, and then end it off why I think these three knee sleeves are the best. Now with the general design, in terms of material differences and build quality, there's actually very little difference. Every product here, except for the hook grip sleeves, use several pieces of neoprene that have been stitched together to follow the general contour of your knee. The only general exceptions are the sleeves from SBD, which look more like an unraveled paper towel roll, and the strong sleeves, which is a literal tube of neoprene. The more established brands have a design that follows the shape of your knee, whereas in some of the other brands, they kind of, it just looks very sloppy in terms of design. The finish on the inside of each sleeve varies from sleeve to sleeve. For the most part, it won't matter, but there is one pair of sleeves with a really coarse finish and it was actually very noticeable during our working out. If you got really sensitive skin or like really soft things, the Rock Tape uh, Assassin sleeves were the softest, though it does have a flaw in its design, which may aggravate some people. In general, the only thing I can personally confirm about knee sleeves is that they will keep your knees warm. And the only way I've been able to confirm that is by doing workouts with one sleeve on and one sleeve off. It feels weird, but the one knee that's always bundled up, well, feels looser and moves better. The majority of the manufacturers here will claim that the products provide support for knees, though it's kind of hard to say. I personally only had mild tendonitis in my knees, so the need for support has never really been an issue, and even on days where my knees were just a bit achy, I just kind of end up spending a bit more time mobilizing everything around the knee. Now, some companies, especially ones who make thicker sleeves, will claim that their sleeves will actually help you lift more. Is that true? Well, I couldn't say for sure, because I couldn't test it for this video, because that tests would require me to uh, continuously max out my squats all the time. Sounds painful. The last thing that these companies don't actually mention is that these knee sleeves are handy for knee protection, specifically when you're doing like walking lunges on pavement mm. or burpees, or you know, you could pull them down and use them for shin protection for your deadlifts or shin protection for your box jumps. Did you guys see me crank my shin on the uh, shoe that video? Been handy for that that video. would have been handy for that, that video. That watch. hurts. My foot foot, my knee, my shin still hurts from that. Now to figure out the benefits of knee sleeves, since Val hadn't used them up until this point, Monty, <laughs> who's sleeping on the job, figured out that we had to use her as a guinea pig to see what a knee sleeve virgin <laughs> thinks about <laughs> knee sleeves. All right, so here's what Monty decided that we should do. He's not here because that's what a good manager does. He just delegates work. 
but we've got the knee sleeve V card workout. Buy in is 100 double unders, followed by four rounds of cow bike, box jumps, burpees, lunges, and air squats. With each round, we're going to do it with no sleeves, right sleeve, left sleeve, and then both sleeves. And the buyout will be wearing sleeves and doing 100 double unders. We've got a new rope to test. Over there, it's the rope. SR343 rope. What do you think about it, Val? The rope? Yeah. Pretty cool. It looks cool. I don't think it's that good. <laughs> but it's $100. So, all right, let's get this over with. So, how was that? That was brutal. Like, really bad. Like, I think I might pass out in a minute. Did you eat lunch? I did. I ate a good lunch. I'm running off of like four hours of sleep though, so it's not ideal. <laughs> so, what do you think about knee sleeves? So, I used to think knee sleeves were like, a lie. Like they didn't work and it was just like, I don't know, showy. But I kind of feel like they helped. Like I sometimes, when I'm squatting, my left knee hurts a little. Like I get those little jabs like in my left knee. Not a lot, it's just sometimes. And I feel like um, when I was wearing it only on the left side, I could feel the difference. Like. Both on felt pretty good, but when I was doing like the one and one, I really felt the difference. It's just like the compression just kind of helped. I think so. It kind of feels like since it's so tight, like on the back when you squat, it kind of feels like springy. Like, yeah. like it helps a little bit with getting out of a squat. It's almost like a placebo effect. Maybe. Because <laughs> I do agree. I do agree. Like going between like the left and the right, doing the squat and stuff. For me, it's again, as I said earlier, keeps my joints warm. And for like the lunges, like, I have like scrapes on my knees from oh, that was hitting, nice the, too. hitting the uh, floor. So it's just having that cushioning just kind of gives you, lets you be a little more careless with your movement, I guess. But all right, let's do a deep dive first on the seven millimeter knee sleeves and then we'll touch on the five millimeter ones and then the knee warmers, the three millimeter ones. In general, there's kind of three thicknesses for sleeves. You got three millimeter, five millimeter and seven millimeters. From my perspective, the three millimeter sleeves are good for keeping your joints warm. That's kind of about it. I wouldn't even say they offer much in terms of support or protection. Five millimeter sleeves are the standard thickness. They're going to be good for almost every exercise, provide great warmth for your old and achy joints, but aren't thick enough to be kind of a big hindrance to any exercise. Seven millimeter sleeves are really hard to move in. They exist kind Kind of for one reason, which is to, you know, help you lift more. For those interested in, I'll call these power lifting sleeves, I tested three pairs for this video, which include products from SBD, Strong, and Ray-Ban. These are tight fitting sleeves and doing anything other than squatting with them is kind of annoying. Every product here claims to be seven millimeters and they all, well, they all feel very thick. Now I say these are power lifting sleeves because that's kind of who the target market is if you go to all these different websites, but I've been using them with my Olympic lifting sessions as well. None of these products bunched up, which was great, but because of the tightness of the sleeve, the finish on the inside of the product actually matters. Another odd thing with these thicker sleeves is that you actually have specific right and left sleeves. The thinner sleeves don't have that sort of uh, differentiation. And one of the things I did forget to mention is that these things are so hard to put on. There's not a lot of give to them. 
and to get them over your knee compared to the other these leaves takes a bit of work, especially these strong ones. Like extras. Out of these three products, my pick is the SBD sleeves. The inside of the strong sleeves are actually quite a bit coarser than an SDB, so my knees felt like sandpaper in them after a long session. SBDs were also more comfortable wearing than the strong sleeves as the seam wraps around your knee, which makes the fold at the bottom of the squat less noticeable. The strong sleeves look like basically a tube of neoprene and feels like a tube of neoprene at the bottom of a squat. Now between my Ray-Ban RX 7mm original knee sleeves and the SBD, the only thing I liked about the SBD over the Ray-Ban product is the length. The higher length felt better when squatting over the shorter ones. However, Ray-Ban does have a taller version called the 7mm Knee Sleeve Power Max, which I didn't get to try for this video. The only time I'd go with the shorter Ray-Ban sleeve would be in a wad where I needed the thicker sleeve because of heavier weights, but still needed a bit of mobility with the shorter length. Again, it's way easier to move with a shorter sleeve than a longer one. Now, from a price standpoint, the SBD and Strong's are about 83 bucks, whereas the Ray-Ban will cost you 100 bucks for a pair. So, me choosing SDB is a good deal for you guys save some cash but honestly I can't think of a wad that I've done lately that would require me or would I would want to wear these sleeves in is there a wad where you would use them I think anything with a like high volume back squat to front squats like Mannion comes to mind but running with these thicker sleeves would be pretty rough you could pull them down put them around your calves and maybe use them as compression sleeves on your calves maybe I don't know but like it be pretty workout specific to wear these thicker ones. Do check out the pinned comment for this video because there is a bunch of other sleeves that we've I already mentioned earlier that I haven't that I didn't get for this video but I am planning on getting and testing and I'll leave my experiences with those sleeves and if there are sleeves that you want me to check out let me know in the comments section below as well. And if you're wondering which pair of training shoes we like the most between the Metcon 7s, Nobles and Nano X1s, check the video out. Also, we're drinking Mexican mules, so, you know, we're healthy. So fit. <laughs> so fit. Now, unlike the ollie lifting, power lifting sleeves, regular sleeves, I'll call them Metcon sleeves, can be used with more exercises, if not most exercises. So in this section, we'll kind of break down this comparison between all these products into fit and functionality. For these sleeves, I've done piles of workouts in them. I would say half the workouts I've done with a mix and match of different sleeve on each leg. And the only thing throughout this entire process is that I've come up that bunching is incredibly annoying. Bunching is terrible. Now the basis of this video actually started with my old Ray-Ban 5mm sleeves. I used these sleeves for about three years and they're pretty worn out and were terrible at bunching. In fact, I remember getting them and thinking, kind of doing my first workout with them, that I had to do a mid-knee sleeve pull-up, which was kind of annoying. Now I was expecting the same experience with the new pair, but that wasn't the case because apparently Ray-Ban updated their design. And these black ones perform nothing like the uh, old purple ones I have. There's no bunching. I did not have to do any sort of mid-knee sleeve pull-up. Did you ever watch the TV series Scrubs? I did. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of Dr. Cox. Do you remember his rant about tube tops? Yes, <laughs> I do. Oh my God. So every single time I have to do like a knee sleeve adjustment or pull-up, I always think about Dr. Cox like <laughs> ranting about the tube tops, but like every 10 seconds having to adjust do them. <sighs> it's a thing. Now for me, the bunching of a knee sleeve is incredibly annoying. Surely I'm not the only one who finds great annoyance in things that fit when you put it on, but then the moment it moves around a bit, it doesn't work. Like it just, ah, so stupid. Take the sleeves from tube hood size properly and they're definitely way too big for me. They fold literally five minutes after you put them on. Like you just be walking around for five minutes and they start folding. Their bare complex sleeves fit a bit better than the two poods, uh, despite looking incredibly similar in design and construction. Until you turn them inside out and realize that the bare complex sleeves look like somebody with a pointer thumb pinky made the sleeves. What? Pointer and thumb pinky? Pointer thumb pinky. When the janitor said his wife made those shorts for JD <laughs> with the thumb <laughs> pointer thing, that's what she... Oh! That's what the bare complex things look like. Somebody's just like... Nah, nah. <laughs> The Rock Grip Assassin sleeves and the Raylian sleeves had an above average fit and didn't fold as quickly as the Two Pood and Bear Complex products. The Rogue sleeves were noticeably tighter than anything in this video other than those 7mm sleeves but didn't suffer from chronic bunching. 
Now, unlike the powerlifting sleeves we were talking about a few minutes ago, the length of the sleeves really didn't matter as much for the Metcon sleeves, mostly because the ones that were longer folded incredibly easily. I'll be honest with you guys, one of the odd things I came to realize during this video was that my body doesn't fit the ratios that most companies use for sizing. Like the ratio between my calf size and the bottom of my quads is abnormal, maybe. I don't know, is that why I'm bunching so much? Who knows? When it comes to functionality, over the last few months, I tried my best to use every one of these sleeves on every single exercise I possibly could think of between testing the sleeves, belt, and tape. I had to bump my workout sessions from one day to two to three a days so that I can review everything in a timely manner. Now, after hours of extra working out other than the bunching that plagues most of these sleeves, the only product that was annoying to use with certain exercises was actually the rock tape Assassins. Now, despite being longer than the Ray-Bans, the back of the sleeve is much lower and a little more aggressive at the taper, and that part of the sleeve is very noticeable with repetitive exercises that require a lot of knee flexion. Exercises like rowing and the occasional bike would be annoying with these sleeves. Now, I wouldn't go as far to say that the bunching reduces the effectiveness of a knee sleeve, but when you're dying in a wad, the last thing you really want to think about is your damn knee sleeves coming off. Like, honestly, if the workout is actually bad enough, I would actually use the bunching on my knee sleeve as an excuse to stop working out. No, you wouldn't. There's no excuse good enough for you to stop working out. I was like about to pass out in the gym yesterday and he was like, keep going. <laughs> okay, I'm going to lose my job if I don't finish this workout. It was awful, guys. <laughs> it's like four rounds with like five minute rest in between each round. But 21 cows on the air bike. That's the equivalent of death. This is how Val does the air bike. Ah! 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 Oh. Accurate. At the end of the day, between the Ray-Ban 5mm sleeve and the Rogue 5mm sleeve, my pick is the Ray-Ban. I'm very impressed with the update over the older sleeves. They are just a smidge longer, and unlike some of the other sleeves used in this video, they still look new after a couple of months of a lot of wearing. But again, the lack of bunching is really what sold me on the product. And a close second is going to be the Rogue sleeves. I personally found them a bit tight, but once I kind of got my legs moving, I wasn't that bothered. The only time the sleeves bunched up was when I used them with my rock tape, rock guard, shin guard things. I'm guessing that the top of the shin guards pinning down the sleeves uh, caused them to not move around as much, which resulted in a bit of folding. Now the deal breaker for the Ray-Bans is the fact that, well, a pair of Rogue sleeves almost cost as much as just one Ray-Ban sleeve, which is crazy given the build quality of the two are very similar. Now, the last thing I'll point out is that from my perspective, the knee sleeves that perform better will be the ones that actually look more like a knee. The giant things from Tupud and Bear Complex that have no resemblance to the joint that we're trying to keep warm uh, perform the worst, whereas the Rogue and Ray-Ban sleeves actually look like a knee. So, you know, that's kind of a neat observation, which kind of means that the third sleeve that we recommend would be the ones from Rock Tape followed by Raylian and then, well, the bear complex and two boots. All right, onto these three millimeter knee sleeves. And yes, I've done a lot of talking in this video because these knee sleeves, I've, they've fitted to me because I use them a lot, Val didn't. So we just kind of introduced her to these there knee sleeves go. in this video. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, these thin ones, other than keeping your knees warm, they are bunch city. Like the, these things are just terrible. Like I honestly have no idea why I Good would- one, falling asleep on the oh, sleeves. On the seven ones, because they're cushiony. Cushion. They're comfortable. Wow. Oh my God, that's so cute. So that's all we got for this video. Questions, comments, leave them down there. It's a pair, a brand of sleeves that you want us to do check out. The last thing I will mention is that the Ray-Ban black carbon ones, I was really impressed that like this logo has stayed on for like three, four years. This black carbon fiber one, I noticed does that. Yeah. So that's not great, Ray-Ban. Figure your stuff out. Um, questions, comments, leave them down there. Do you appreciate how we do these things? What can they do, Val? You can hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, get all your knee sleeves through our Amazon links, mm -hmm. and subscribe to our other channels as well. Yes. Did I miss I've anything? Spent, no, I, I'm trying to figure out how much money. I've probably spent like six, $700 on knee sleeves. No other reviewer is going to do that for you guys. Probably not. What do you mean, probably not? They're not. <laughs> Thanks for watching.